it's not even near how loud it's going to be. All right, so I'm out here on my road extension project I have to do. It's about 400 feet long, and I have to extend this dirt road all the way out. We got some utilities in the ground. So I got Kyle here with Integrade. Yes, sir. What, have, what play toy have you brought today? This is our Ramvac HX12. The 12 stands for 12 cubic yards. Vac truck. Vac, Hydro X truck specifically. Combo trucks are versatile to where they can Hydro X and flush. This is strictly just hydro excavation. So what I'm doing today is where I have to do this road, we got a, uh, a main cable line right here. And then over here where I got to do a pipe crossing, we've got a, uh, a power line. So I need to know where exactly these utilities are. So when I'm digging, I don't uh, interfere those, interfere um, with those utilities. So where was it? Yeah, right here. Wait, you got to... I got a two cut. and a half foot cut right over top of this line. So this is the safest way to do it. You can come over here and, and uh, we'll show you how it works, but it'll pretty much just suck out a hole. That way there's no machines digging and uh, no risk of possibly damaging that or this power line over here. Cause I'm going to be, you. or me. <laughs> that way I don't have to dig through a power line and have an accidental uh, problem here. So we'll come down here and we'll find this. Cause I'm, I'm going to be pretty close on my grade right here when I run this pipe on this power line. So let's uh, let's get set up and see how this thing works. All right, we're getting geared up, ready to go. So the cool thing about it is on my combos, which you've been around, they get about, they get about 15, let's see if I'm a 15. This is 30. 30? It's almost double what my combos can do. Much all you're doing is sucking you're creating a vacuum with that and then but you're using the water to Break loosen all up. the dirt just create like a slurry gotcha it just makes it easier and that way you don't damage any of the utilities or anything all right let's see it in action all remote controlled well, that makes it nice doesn't it i could run it off this or dependent Right yeah, how many gallons of water do you hold? About 1500. Okay. But I didn't bring 1500 because I don't need it. <laughs> Yeah. Which is very cost effective for all of our clients. You know, conventional digging, you got to send a man in a hoe, two shovels, a service truck, all of that. You save the cost, you know, it's an hour per hour rate, but, you know, having you, one man run it and make it. Absolutely. A And you said it doesn't, how many feet of suction hose can you have? How many have I put on Yeah, it? or what will the truck pull? I put over 250 foot on it. Really? Pulled it just fine, heavy sand, heavy clay. Oh, wow. But you got flex hose if you've got to run it like, flex, yeah. like out in the woods to suck the mud well, out of it. A lot of the... companies will put these um, aluminum pipes on, like an eight foot aluminum pipe, lay it out flat because vacuuming is all designed about moving air yeah the more air gaps you have the less vacuum power you have so they'll put these on to create a tighter seal correct to let you get further distance gotcha it's all about preference absolutely you know? all right let's find some utilities or at least one we hope we only find one
Well, that was quick. That didn't take long. All right, pay me. <laughs> <laughs> That's. This is why you do hydro excavation, people. Because you can never trust a locate. You know, that's you never supposed to be 24 a, inches. I know, that's what code what is. What is that, 12? And see, you could have haphazardly just come out of here, you know, you're Start 10 stripping. minutes from your house. Oh, I'll just go do this real quick. Next thing you know, that's a widow maker right there. Yeah. And, you know, that's that's well, scary. We might need to go over there and dig another one. I agree. Because I, yeah. I mean. I'm going to be all on top of that when I. Well, think about it over there. I know. That probably go over top of the pipe. That's what I told. What did I tell you when I first got here? It was either going to be really shallow or really deep. Oh boy. Alrighty then. That's that's going to be all in the way of this project. Well, at least I know where it's at now. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> that didn't take you long. Uh, you want to just right. swing the boom up and we'll plop another one in front. Close enough, he said it extends. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Where you want to go? Uh, right yeah, about about right here. Yeah, right in like there. Right there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> right on the mark. Yeah, right on the mark. Because technically, it's off from the mark. Correct. It's a little bit right. You got well, some mud in your face. Do I? <laughs> you got a lot of mud on you. Not as much as I've had this week. <laughs> I have a feeling that's my pipe's going to be going under that. Yeah. Well, I, it's actually kind of good. I think my pipe will go. What size is it? 18 inch. I don't see why not. It's been be, done many times before. It's going to be iffy. Might have to stretch it up a little bit. That or the boring companies just drill right through it. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix those too. Right. Did have a ground rod one time where they did a, a ground ring and they drove the ground rod through an 18 inch RCP line. That was impressive. Wow. I haven't seen that one. They put the old hammer on that one, didn't they? All right, show me the magic. So it's a lot better. That literally took like a minute. Exactly. Versus hand digging for a half an hour and not Killing knowing if it's 12 inches or three feet. I mean, yeah, that's where this sells. Because they don't tell you how deep it is. They can, but they're not legally allowed to. Because what will happen gonna... is they'll say it's two feet. You take 18 inches off of the excavator and rip it out of the ground. This is why we're doing a lot of work for boring companies now. Yeah. Is they get, well, think about it. The development right now is 
especially North Carolina is insane. I see it, you see it. There's so much stuff going into the ground, left and right, unmarked, unknown. Oh, people don't know where it's at. Abandoned items. Nobody has any. It, and it never get. You know, you don't. If that gets cut, they run a new line. I mean, we just did a job. That job for Justin up there in Raleigh, and we found a two double double paired two two inch fibers did side they, by side. They didn't know about. Nope. Well, we're only going to find one here because that, <laughs> that wasn't put in long ago. <laughs> All right, well, let's see.
moved. <laughs> yeah, that's this is what you want to look for. I prefer to see tape, you know. Yeah. You know, Isn't there supposed to be tape? Every utility I've ever put in, we put tape on. <laughs> I mean, they literally put that in less than two years ago. Well, I watched them. I don't have to travel far to go home. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Well, there start. she is. You want to maybe open it up just a yeah, little bit Yeah, I can. Okay. I can push it all to this. Yeah, maybe, maybe just. I think the pipes will make it come right, right through here. Maybe just come back this way another 18 inches. be quite honest with you I can't get excited about hand digging for a power <laughs> line anymore because that would have took a long time to dig down almost four feet well and really where Hydra X sells itself is the safety factor yeah you know no risk of even what I mentioned earlier I'd like to see tape yeah there was no tape so you could just be aimlessly digging and spade that thing through and then it's gonna be on well I greatly appreciate it let's get cleaned up and go uh Look at the mess that's in the back of this truck. Dimple. Well, you've always got to have a spot to get rid of the spoils. Do we call this the spoils? A better name is a slurry. Slurry? <laughs> That's what it's more look like. There won't be a whole lot. No more than we did. Yeah, but so they have options. If they have a spot on site to dump it, or you prefer can, you prefer. A, otherwise, it's an additional charge for me to haul it off somewhere else. You cannot take it to a landfill. Because um, me and you try to do that one pond project, and we've done a series where sometimes they do and sometimes they don't, but the hard answer is no. A solid tube. A quad axle is easy. You look in the bottom they and see They can't see, see what's. What, exactly. What's happened is somebody's probably taken them some contaminated some waste. water or yeah. some hazardous Something material. Something that should not end up at a, exactly. a landfill or a brush dump or, you know, dirt dump. Alright. Yeah. Well, that's nice get... as I can run the truck off that remote and everything all right the here. here. The only thing you have to do is engage the blower with the PTR. Am I going to get splattered? As long as you stay over <laughs> here, you're fine. But I want to watch it dump out. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Does that dumper just blow out? Oh yeah, okay. got a little dumpy dump. They make a 15 yard truck. That's more than I thought. Yeah. Some of it's residual. I mean the good thing is I didn't have to hand dig all that. Think about it. That doesn't look like a lot, but that's a lot of shovel well, pulls. Like I said, I think it's some of it's residual from my other job I was on this Yeah. Day. Oh, okay. So you're bringing me extra mud now. You gotta be careful with that. Yeah, you be done. Oh, it'll drip down on you. Oh, got a little bed vibrator. Would you just look at that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So now you got to uh, wash it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And clean up.
That's at least a cubic yard, isn't it? About. About. Well, I mean, that one utility was probably about three foot. Yeah. Three by three. So pretty much you just got to clean the tailgate off and get you a good seal. That way you're not leaking out going down the road. Yeah, DOT would love that. They will have some questions for you. <laughs> Boy, that would be a bad day for that to open up going down the road full of liquid fuel. That would be a bad day for that to dump out going down the road, wouldn't it? We've had these trucks so full, the tailgate can't open. You have oh. to weep it off. Oh, gosh. It'll pin it up because watch how these pins go when they don't go in even. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, you got locking pins. Four of them. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're just like skid steer quick connects or the locking pins for that. Well, that was fun to see that work. I've never seen one of those work before. And, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's nice to be close to home and have the contractor that's available. But we're yeah. just as busy as everybody. Oh, absolutely. With, with five trucks, we're running every day. Really? Five trucks, two camera vans, port repairs, liners. And then you still have the emergency response yeah. stuff. We'll be good about that. <laughs> I, have a good, I haven't had the 2 a.m. phone call in a while. So. You'll get one tonight now. You jinxed yourself. Hey, it's fine. I'm fine with it. I enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's how hydro excavation works. And that is the easy way to locate utilities with low impact. In and out, 30 minutes. In and out. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anytime.